Let's take a look at the lubrication inside of a case, a gear case, that uses splash lube. So inside this case, we have a predetermined level of oil up to the fill plug by the manufacturer. We have three shafts that are rotating that are all parallel to each other. They all have spur cut gear teeth and they're all going to turn at the same time. Anytime I rotate them, all the gears are gonna rotate at the same time. So what's common and what we can see is that if I go really slowly, the EP oil, the extreme pressure oil that has some adhesive additives added to it, as the gears pass through that oil, the oil sticks to the gears and is then carried with the gears through rotation. Now, of course, on this auxiliary transmission, we're not simply going to drive this slowly going down the road. But what we can see is that there is already oil being caught up in those gear teeth, even rotating as slow as this is. So what we need to see is that as we turn up or increase speed driving down the hill, down the road, down a hill, we can actually see that those gears that sit in the oil level will actually pick up that oil and throw it throughout the case. And so then we can actually design a case to direct that splashed oil in the proper place. So I'm just gonna keep spinning this up. We can start to see the, the oil be picked up and thrown around even with the slow speed that I'm able to turn this by hand. You can hear the oil being churned up and being thrown around inside the case. And so this is how we can get gear sets that are lower to pick up the oil and pass it on to the next gear. And we can actually move quite a bit of oil from the bottom side of a case straight up. The one limitation to splash lube though is that it's often simply directed in the path of the gear. So if we had a bearing that lined up somewhere around here or the shift fork that's supposed to be riding on this sliding clutch, it could suffer. We can see here, I have no lubrication on this sliding clutch. So what can happen is that we could suffer from inadequate lube if we do not allow the housings to actually direct the oil or a trough to direct the oil to the bearings or the clutches that we would otherwise starve. So once again, this is what that splash lube looks like as the shaft rotate faster and faster.